put one tablespoon in your coffee. After adding the blackstrap molasses, you can put a dash of cinnamon and make a nice little chai coffee. You don't want to put too much cinnamon and then a little bit of ginger and there you have a nice chai coffee. Just a little bit, not too much. It will really, uh, you know, give it a bitter taste if you put too much in there. So you just want to put a dash in there, stir it around. You may even want to add a little bit of soy milk to this. Guys, this is a great way to get your calcium, magnesium, potassium, and iron in coffee in the morning. And this is decaf coffee, by the way. And it is delicious. It's really quite amazing because it just adds a little bit of sweetness and you cannot even take the taste the black strap molasses. I don't know if it's the spices that I put in it, but it tastes really good. And there you have it guys. Black strap molasses. Who knew? Okay guys. I'm starting to experiment around with the keto diet. I'm researching it and right now I'm just having an avocado. I'm obviously going to have to go to the grocery store. Okay guys, I made the tofu scramble and I just ate the avocado and now I'm eating this with sunflower seeds on it. I'm making some chia pudding. I'm trying to eat higher fats and I'm going with the keto. Okay, I'm going to even throw some sauerkraut on here. Now I'm going to drizzle some of this um, hemp oil. It's, uh, I'm going to go with, I guess, one tablespoon on here, so I'm going to measure that out and drizzle one tablespoon on here to start I'm going out. To sprinkle with. some of these uh, sesame seeds on here. Okay, so I've capsulated some um, ashwagandha up into two capsules, some turmeric in two capsules, and um, some of the gota cola in two capsules. And I just took 500 milligrams of niacin, basically that was just capsulated up into one capsule. So I'm taking that now. Um, so yeah, we'll see where this day takes us. Peace. I had a cup of grapes or a bowl of grapes and I'm eating an apple.